you're sleeping too? Don't do such adorable things when I need to work, please. Hello everybody and welcome back to Planet Zoo. I am Twinkly Tanya and um, we are in Panda Park, the third tutorial park. And we are currently in the Gold Star uh, campaign because we did bronze and silver in the first episode. And we have to have at least 80 species in the zoo, which is three more than we currently have. So let's find a place where we can build a habitat first. Um, because <laughs> most of the park is already built. But it seems that we have an open space here. So I think I'm going to make a habitat here and uh, get some animals together. That um, so, so we have like three species in a one um enclosure let's see which animals we still need we go to zoo we go to not vet research tanya <laughs> although we have completed this which is good to know because then we can research something else um in which you know let's just uh research another disease there we go it's always good to research those and uh, you know what you can also research something uh, another disease because i think most of these have been researched um well no no um maybe you can actually research one of the animals because later on we have to um we have to make the animals happier so let's research them a little bit more so we can uh, increase their happiness easier um I wanted to see which animals we have. So we go to animals over here <laughs> and we go to habitats because that's the easiest way to see. Uh, because it, in this overview, you just see all the animals and it's a bit overwhelming. So I'd like to go to habitats and see what we have. So we have crocodiles, antelopes, pandas, more panda, well, red panda, red pandas. We didn't even go to those. We should go there and see. Um, we have uh, more pandas, uh, the macaque. The flamingo, more pandas, <laughs> so many pandas, gharials, pangolin, tapir, okapi, um, and a giant tortoise. So we could do something with zebras and maybe even giraffes, something like that, you know, like a small safari exhibit. Uh, but I want to see the red pandas because I have not seen them in the game yet. I'm curious. Let's go there. So that's this habitat. Where are they? Uh, let's actually unpause the game. There they are. Hello, you. That's a that's a bush. <laughs> you are the panda. Oh my god. These are so adorable. Can you come out of the bush, please, so I can see you? <laughs> oh god. Okay, we we should maybe go to the other red panda because that one was actually eating. It's a little bit easier to see. Okay, you're out of the bushes. Great. Look at that. Such a, such a sweetie. I can't wait to get my own red pandas in my own zoo. So adorable. Yes. <laughs> they are incredibly adorable. Look at you. <laughs> oh my god. Look at you. <laughs> Alright. Um, we have stuff to do, but... Um, Yes, I just read. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, this is the cutest. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so adorable. Oh my god. That's the absolute cutest. I love that. Um, but yes, we need to do stuff. <laughs> we cannot sit here all episode watching Sleeping Pandas. The other one's sleeping too. Oh my god. <laughs> really? You're sleeping too? Don't do such adorable things when I need to work, please. <laughs> Stop it. All right. We have some red pandas. Um, so yes. Where was the place where I wanted to build? <laughs> Let's find it back. Mm. Ah, no. Wait. I thought it was here, but it was there. Um, and seeing as there is already a path around this thing let's just have the enclosure go around this path as much as we can i guess um we do need to have a keeper's hut as well um so we do need some place for that but we could maybe do that here or something i don't know 
Uh, it's close to the people. We could do that here. Uh, we will build nothing here anyway, probably. So, yes, <laughs> let's do that. That water. This is water, this brown thing. Oh, God. Um, yes, we will do a keeper's hut and a water facility probably over there. Let's uh, let's go to barriers. <laughs> let's actually start building. Um, I don't know what we need. We might just be able to do it with wood. But I'm going to start with bricks. Or maybe this... Wait, what is the thing that we use in this... Uh, in this zoo mostly mostly wood so I think I want to use wood but um, we can start with concrete because that is close to that one and it's resistance grade 6 so just in case we want some uh, um, uh, some animals that are a little bit more dangerous we can um, the thing is I don't want to start with wood because we cannot make a curved wall with wood, but we can make a curved wall if we start by uh, with another material, then curve our walls, um, like just curve our walls with that material, and then um, uh, we um, we change it into wood. Sorry. That, that was what I wanted to say. I'll, I'll start off with a small section because the first section always has to be straight for some reason. Because the game doesn't know in which direction you want it curved. And now we can curve alongside the path. I wish I could go a little bit closer to the path. But um, that's not really possible because there's lights. That's fine though. We can do it like this. They don't have to be super close all the time, right? Uh, we make this even smaller because the path does a weird thing here. Uh, now we can make it longer again, I think. Like so. And let's see. Uh, this is too long. We might need a uh, half, so that would be four meter. Uh, I don't think we can make that curve if I if I do this. So, well, no. No, let's make it three meters. There we go. Because we have to stay away from the path a little bit, right? Uh, yes, and now I want a straight section here. Because that's what the path is doing as well. And then we go back to... Uh, I mean, eight meters it was, I think, what I was doing. We could do ten as well. But um, in this case, uh, we, we have some more options uh, of what we want to turn into glass and what we don't want to turn into glass, which is nice. Oh god, I hope that the path doesn't... Wait, 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 wait. Well, uh, oh, this section over here. Uh, let's actually make this 10 meters. Like so, and then we go straight again, and I hope that it will follow the, yes, okay, it follows the terrain, which is great. Let's go into curves again. We are a little bit further from the lights than we are at the other side, but that's fine. Uh, is it though? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I want to be a little bit closer, actually, to the lights. Um, in which case, we need to make this 11 meters. Yes. That's better, I guess. Uh, like so. And then, let's go back to curves again. I think uh, we're halfway with our uh, fencing. Or, well, no, we're, all, we're almost done, actually. Nice. Um, we need a slightly smaller curve here. Like so. And then I guess we could do... Eight, nine. Let's go for nine. I think we will finish it off with nine. Yes. Uh, let's make that straight. 
because otherwise we get this awkward shape at the end. There we go. Perfect. This is a perfect enclosure. <laughs> now, what shall we put in it? Also, uh, I made this a little bit awkward, actually. Come to think about it. It's fine. <laughs> um, no, it's not. It's not fine. I want to fix that, actually. Let's edit just these pieces. That, that, that was just too awkward. So let's go back here. Uh, like so, I guess. Yeah, this is this looks slightly less awkward. The pathing is just a little bit awkward there, so it's not my fault. <laughs> uh, so where do we want the viewing area? Because we have to turn something into glass. What is this over here? Oh, that's energy, but a different kind of energy. Uh, but people will probably not like that. Let's let's see. Um, let's go to negative impact on gas. Oh, actually, it is far enough from the path. Okay, uh, that's good. It has less negative impact than uh, the energy that I know. <laughs> um, so maybe not over here, because there's already a viewing area over here and then... There will be so many people here, it will drive the animals absolutely nuts. Maybe we can have a small area here in a crossroad section, but I think this would be a nice place because we can have benches here and people can uh, view from here. So we should definitely turn something, uh, some walls here into glass. Uh, I should have done this a little bit differently, shouldn't I? Hmm. Um... Yeah, let's actually edit this a little bit better. Oh, we can do this. Uh, but then it will be too much. Uh, no. Okay, so I will go to s five meters, I guess. Because I want the glass to start here, where the path starts. So let's do this, and then we go to whatever, how many meters we need. There we go. Wait, did I make it straight? Oh, God. No, I didn't, but... I just placed it awkwardly. Uh, okay. Over here. And then... Oh, we can actually finish it like that. It finished it? It's so awkwardly, but... It's it's okay. Um, now, we will have... These three... Uh, windowed. Because that's the thing that you can do now. You can just put glass in here you don't have to have extremely large glass panes um you can just change the barrier into having glass like that that's super cool and uh maybe maybe not this part because then they would see each other and i don't like that so much but maybe we could have another part over here because from here you can see the whole habitat so what if we change these into windowed pieces as well there we go and the rest can stay um like this because then the, the animals have a little bit of privacy which of course they need um which animal shall we put in here that's the question let's go to the trading center i have the feeling that zebras would be let's actually go to zoopedia because let's go to the zebra because they can they can uh, be together with so many other animals. I, let's actually see the mandrel as well, because I'm not sure. No, see, they, they don't like other uh, animals. But zebras, though, they can uh, be together with the buffalo, the giraffe, sable antelope, springbok, common ostrich, black wildebeest, and the common warthog. That's a lot of animals that can be together in, the, um, in, in one. And they can be together with even more. You can put an elephant in there, too. They just are indifferent about elephants <laughs> um but they they can be together actually uh we could do that because i don't think like if we go tiger <laughs> we cannot put anything with the tiger you know uh sable antelope we can even put a gazelle in there um springbok kind of the same because sometimes the feeling is not mutual <laughs> Uh, or the, you, you saw in the uh, 
what was it in the antelope ones that they like uh, Thompson's gazelles, whereas the uh, um, the, the the zebras were indifferent about them. They're not here, but yeah, let's see what we have in uh, the animal trading center. Uh, nothing because this is the stored section. <laughs> Uh, we could go to, um, see, I guess African elephant could also be there, but they don't necessarily like that. And also, I think the enclosure is too small to put an elephant in there, honestly. But zebras could, uh, could work. Gems box were one of them, I think. Also the warthog. We have some warthogs, actually. Uh, what else did we see? Uh, the zebra... Not the pronghorn antelope. I think it was the sable antelope. The giraffe could be in here. The sable antelope. Uh, the spring box. Now I'm not sure if I have the right box here. The Thompson's gazelle. And that's it. There's only a warthog. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Let's refresh the list. Let's oh well, let's let's actually get some more thoughts and then we will check back later if if the other animals are there as well. We will get a female. We will get a male. This seems like a good male. I didn't even check if the female was nice. It, it is. She's not super fertile. We could we could have a, a more fertile female as well. There we go. But seriously, oh god. Uh, what else does the Warthog like to be in? <laughs> Can we just go to Warthog like this? Yes. Let's go to you. Oh, a Wildebeest and Buffalo. We didn't check those. And Ostriches. Okay, we might have those actually. Buffaloes, Wildebeest and Ostriches. Let's let's check those as well. Uh, whoops, different menu. <laughs> uh, let's see. Buffalo... Uh, wildebeest and what was the other thing? I wish that they would save the. Uh, um, I don't know. Ostriches. That was it. There we go. We have some wildebeest, so that's good. Let's get the female and let's get one male. Which one do we want? This one, for sure. Because we don't have to worry about money. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, we don't have any of the other animals at this point, but that's fine. Um, so we'll have to put those in the um, center zoo, I guess. Uh, but we have to put you in the... Um, uh, not the trading center, the other thing. <laughs> the quarantine. Uh, this is the trading center. Here's the quarantine. Let's put you in quarantine. Um... Let, let's actually do this. <laughs> I I always forget this. Okay, you are being moved. Uh, you're also being moved? Oh, okay. Wait, I can select it? Oh my god, I can select everything. That's so cool. Um, and then we're gonna move you all into the quarantine. There we go. And while that is happening, we will uh, start building our exhibit over here. <clears throat> I want a water area. I always want a water area because even if the Zoopedia doesn't tell you that they need water, every animal likes water. So we're just going to give it to them. Uh, hmm. Maybe I, I want to move this tree, actually. It's in a bit of an awkward space. Uh, we're going to move that tree over here. For now. I want to give them some water in the middle because that seems nice. But yes, most animals love water. Uh, oh, actually, this is... Uh, we should have the water area over here. Uh, never mind the tree move then. <laughs> because this is a, a hill, actually. So let's actually push this a little bit further. Then this will be the, the water area. It's fine. And I don't have to have such a... Wow, hello, sun. <laughs> We don't have to have such a large water area, but just some water for them to drink, at least. It's nicer than a water bowl. Come on. These are zebras, I wanted to say, but we didn't, didn't actually get zebras. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are... And, and, and most animals actually also like to swim. This is actually 
quite big already. So let's smoothen the edges because otherwise the water area just looks awkward. Trust me, there will be weird, um, weird strong edges and everything. Uh, this part should be pushed down a little bit though. There we go, I think. And let's see how the water looks. Uh, let's make it calm water. That's quite big actually, but you know what? It's fine. Um, because I think some of them actually like to swim. I think the Warthog likes to swim. So, yes. <laughs> what is he saying? Uh, quarantine pass, ready to leave. Oh, okay. That is fast. Uh, there was a way to move them all at the same time by just going to the quarantine area, which is here. No, whoops. <laughs> um, I want to see the quarantine. Here it is. Yes. Uh, let's select all of you. And we'll move you to my habitat, which is over here. Invalid destination. Why? No, it's not invalid. Oh, it is. <laughs> Wait, I forgot a very important thing. Um, a, a staff door. <laughs> oh, of course it's invalid now. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do wood because I, I think I might actually change this whole habitat into wood. Where did I want to buy uh, build the staff area? Over here. So the staff door is going to be here. Obstructed, really. But I want it there. Okay, it, it can be over here, actually. Uh, there's benches, though. We can do it over here. Maybe we can actually... Because there's benches here, maybe we can actually have some glass here as well. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's edit the barrier again. And since we have... Uh, Indeed, animals that, that can totally go in a wooden um, habitat. We will make this wooden because I like wood better than I do uh, concrete. Wood is nicer. And then we're gonna turn these into windows. Wait, it didn't remember the... Oh, no, I didn't have windows there. Never mind. Yes, it did remember the windows. Yes. All right. So... Um, yeah, we have a lot of viewing areas on this side and on this side. And then that side is uh, a little bit more closed off, which is nice for the animals. Alrighty then. Um, and then there's this side, which is closed off. But that's fine too. Yes. Okay. Uh, they will come into... No, they will not come because <laughs> we couldn't put them in there without the gates. So let's get them again. Let's go to the quarantine center. And uh, select all of them. And move them all over there. Now it should work, actually. <laughs> See? Now it is actually a habitat. There we go. Um, well, we have to wait and see what they like, actually. Um, so let's speed up time so that they can be put here quick enough. You know what? Let's not speed up time. Let's actually put a keeper's hut uh, close by so that they can be fed and everything. I wanted the keeper's hut to be here. So let's actually put one there. Um, it doesn't have to be a great keeper's hut at this point. Although I would love to check in my blueprints what I have. Uh, you know what? Let's go to facilities um, and go to staff facilities. See, we have an Asian keeper hut. Let's just put it here because this is the exact right style so let's not mess and let, let, let let's not mess with the style that is already here we will put the keeper hut here uh this should be far enough away no it's it's very close to the people wait <laughs> uh oh my god i don't want it to be too far away though we could actually put it here i guess yeah we could put it here actually this is, uh, like, enclosed with trees and everything. Uh, the thing is, the guests hate uh, the keeper's huts and everything. So we should put them a little bit farther away from them. Um, and at least, if, if it annoys them over here, it, it at least anno doesn't annoy them when they sit in their uh, on their benches. Part of me actually wants to get a, a water thingy as well. Vet, trade center, staff room. Do we have... A water building? No, we don't. 
Okay, let's forget about that then. Um, let's actually see what you like. Oh, look at you being happy. Oh, he's running around and everything. <laughs> he's like, yay, I'm a, I have a new home. Uh, but let's uh, let's see what you want in your uh, habitat. You want a short grass, what a surprise. You want some more soil, and that's basically it. It's almost perfect. So uh, let's go to terrain paint. I will put some soil in the water, I guess. Because grass shouldn't be in the water at all. And we'll, we'll also put some soil around um, the water, because that's what happens, right? Uh, so we have some soil over here. Oh, see? Three of them are swimming already. All the warthogs are swimming. <laughs> They're like, yay! Water! <laughs> and and the Zoopedia doesn't tell you that they do like that. But um, they do. Okay. They have enough soil. And let's uh, get some more short grass. Let's actually make this uh, thing a little bit bigger. So that we can see. There we go. It's it's done already. <laughs> it's done. Uh, let's see if the other animals agree with this. Because we don't have... Wait, this was... Um, what did I select before? Okay, so the wildebeest uh, are fine. I, I think that was the one that I selected. Let's select a warthog. They are fine as well. And we don't have a third animal yet. So we cannot really... Um, <laughs> cannot really please those yet. Uh, now we need a shelter and we could just plop one we could just have a shelter in the middle here but then it would be so hard for people to see them um, on the other hand <laughs> where can we put a shelter uh, maybe over here in this corner and we'll move those trees uh, we'll keep the big one there we'll move this one though over there we'll move this one over whoops not over there that was awkward. We'll move that one here. Um, we could have a, a tree here as well. And uh, now we can have a shelter here. Uh, I hope. <laughs> we might have to do some terrain uh, stuff. But maybe it fits. Let's see. We could build our own as well. But um, I guess for now, because this is still the tutorial level, so I think I just want to go to um, to shelters that are already made, which are these only. 8x4x2, 8x4x2, wait, this is all 8x4x2, 8x8x2. That might be a little bit too big, actually. Maybe 8x4x2 was enough. I don't know. Uh... Okay, let's put this one here, like so, I guess, like so. I will uh, make it a little bit uh, more, like, I will give them some walls, because right now <laughs> they don't have any walls here. I like that there is uh, some air uh, over there, so I, I think I will uh, try to do that. A little bit similar, yes, like that. But maybe we'll uh, pull you down a little bit, like so. Then we'll click on this one. Wait, that was not what I wanted. Oh, that only works if it's a building. Never mind. <laughs> we go back to uh, to habitat and uh, uh, just get another one. Uh, yes, let's pull it down, like so. Uh, you know what? We could actually control X you. Does that work? That works. If we press control X, we get another wall we can put there. Now, why is that wall so awkwardly placed? I don't know. It has to be here. Well, or here. There we go. And then we press control X again. And we can pull another wall out, like so. There we go. Do I want it to be... Oh, I guess this is fine. Uh, I was like, do I want another wall here? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we could actually. Let's uh, press Ctrl X again and then we pull you out, like so. And... Uh, 
We'll just have you in the corner. Like so. There we go. Now there's there's a door, you know. They can actually sleep in a place where they won't be bothered by the humans. I do want to have some... Whoops, that's big. I do want to have some uh, short grass over here because it's awkward that the grass is growing inside the shelter. And uh, let's have some bedding. Because, of course, animals need, uh, need a nice fluffy bedding. Let's add that to the shelter. Like so. And like so. And over there. They all cost the same. So I just uh, select the extra large bedding. That sticks out though. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Let's move it then. Uh, let's move it over there. We'll move this one too. Um, we could move it around a little bit as well. So it fits a little bit better. It locks onto the things though. So it's, it's a bit hard to move. Hmm. Okay, maybe we will actually go for the large bedding instead. Uh, <laughs> because this is awkward. This one too. Let's go for two large beddings. Yeah, it's better. Ah, that's what happens if it locks on, I guess. All right. There we go. We have a shelter. Uh, now let's see what plants you guys like. Uh, oh, the coverage is already too much. <laughs> no! Really? I have to take something out? Okay. I guess we'll take out some trees. But then it's so it's such a boring uh, shelter then, actually. Uh, we'll have to take out a big tree, I guess. Hmm... Don't want to. But the big trees will solve our problem really easily. But uh, you know what? Let's just move this one actually over there. Are you happy now? Yes, actually. <laughs> it's the they're not because uh, they're the wrong trees. They don't like beech trees and elm trees. <laughs> we have to move all these trees out of the way. All right, let's move them then. They were amazing, but not the right trees. So. Um, we shall give them the right trees. And we shall just put those around the guests and everything. That's nice. Guests do like trees. And they probably do like birch trees and beech trees and stuff like that. Let's give you a big one here. Or not. It's awkward. Um, is it? You can put it in the floor a little bit, right? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Uh, the roots are not visible. It looked like th they were, but they're not. Uh, we will move this out of the way. Over there. Is that everything? No, just one. Uh, you can go over here. Wow, there's a whole forest going on right now. <laughs> but I don't want to get rid of them because we, we might be able to use them, right? Okay, this is super awkward. We, go we will go to terrain and um, make that a little bit smoother. There we go. That was... Just imagine stepping on that. <laughs> it's not nice. Okay, they need to... Um, uh, let's see what they need. I don't know what they need. It's night also. It's hard to see. Uh, they need grassland Africa. All of them. Um, so let's go to nature. We have Asia at this point and temperate. So that's not good. Um, we go to grassland and then we go to Africa. There we go. And now let's give you the right trees. And... You don't like a lot of coverage. A lot of the animals actually do like 100% coverage right now. But there's still some a uh, animals which absolutely do not like that. So I guess uh, we'll have to respect that. <laughs> That's just how it is. Uh, this is an amazing tree. The hookthorn acacia tree. I like that a lot. <clears throat> we can put a few of those in. There we go. Maybe one in the middle as well. Uh, let's move it around though, so it doesn't look like the exact same tree. Um, <laughs> that's almost... That's almost enough already. <laughs> like so. 
Uh, do we have some nice bushes, maybe? We have uh, papyrus, which is nice around the lake. Uh, and we have common reeds, which is even nicer around the lake. <laughs> I like that. So let's just give them some reeds. Let's actually see it a little bit better. Wait, why is it floating so much? Was my tree also floating? I hope not. We should check that. We should definitely check that. Wait. Common reeds? Elephant grass. Oh, wait. I'm doing elephant grass right now. Uh, well, I guess I should continue with that then. I mean, we could combine it, but not so close to each other, I guess. All right. Uh, where else? Look at them. <laughs> They're so adorable. I love them. I don't know. I love Warthogs. <laughs> it's just... Maybe it's because... Because of Pumba, I don't know, but it's it's probably because they just they, they look so happy all the time. They just literally always look happy, and that in turn makes me happy. So yes, Warthogs are amazing. Uh, no, not that big one actually, because uh, you know what? Let's actually go with the strips. Because uh, we're almost at the max of their plant coverage. Like so, I guess. There we go. <laughs> it looks so boring. Do you really not want more plants? Because I sure would. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a very big tree. No, I'm like... Oh, it was because this part is higher. Yes. No, the trees are fine. Um, nothing is floating. Everything is fine. I would like some more bushes. I know that we can technically make bushes by putting the trees down in the ground, but then <laughs> their coverage would go up a lot. They don't like that. There are not so many actual bushes, I feel. Uh, I guess I guess this is fine. Um, uh, so this was the wildebeest, right? Let's actually see what the Horthog thinks of this. Uh, they are just about happy. They're like, where are all my plants? <laughs> Give me some more plants, please. <laughs> I can't, sorry. Uh, but we could go check if there is another animal available to be put in here because we need it. <laughs> let's go to the market and let's see. We we have wildebeest. Wait, it was wildebeest that we got, right? Because we... Um, we I do see some more. Yeah, no, we have wildebeest already. <laughs> we don't need those. Um... Okay, let's go to the market and let's select some species. So, uh, buffaloes would be nice. Wait, is there a buffalo? No. It just says none. <laughs> I thought there was one, but nope. No buffalo. Um, I guess we could check if there's an elephant. No. <laughs> because, I mean, they, they could go together. It would be very weird, but they would not kill each other. Uh, ostriches were a thing that we could put there. Uh, I don't think gems... I think it was the other bock that uh, that was a good match. Hmm. Uh, none of these. Zebras? At this point, no. Hmm. A giraffe then? Also not. Why are these animals not here? <laughs> Springboks? Nope. Thompson gazelle? Nothing. None of the above. So we cannot get a third animal because they are simply not on the market. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> I was so set on having uh, loads of animals here. We should actually give them a uh, donation box because look at that. Uh, <laughs> let's go to, um, to facilities actually. And uh, to guest facilities and uh, plop down a donation. I want to see everything. There we go. We can put that ra uh, right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no third animal. That's a little bit disappointing. Uh, I was so set on at least having uh, um, that accomplishment, you know, but nope. <laughs> But we did make a very popular viewing area over here. And that is absolutely super great. We could actually uh, give them some benches to sit on. Can we copy this one? 
Because I would like to um, have a similar look in the park, you know. Uh, I don't want to ruin the atmosphere that we already have. Uh, we could have some here as well. And maybe another one right next to it. This could be a long bench. And they could uh, perfectly see the animals. But yes, um, we need a third animal. So um, I think we're going to do that in the next episode. And either we are checking if uh, a third animal has... Uh, like, if there is a third animal that we can put in here. And we will uh, uh, continue with the rest of the quests. Uh, oh, also, we need to save... We need to... Um, <laughs> we, we need to fix this because this looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's actually get rid of the the extremely large ones, and we will just put some of the um, the smaller ones in there. Let's duplicate you. Yes. So, either um, either we're going for uh, a third animal in this habitat, and if we cannot find it, then we will just have to make a new habitat, <laughs> right? So uh, yeah, that is what we will do in uh, the next episode. Look at how happy they are inside their uh, their their little sleeping area, though. They are also happy. They they are tired from sleeping, I guess. <laughs> Cute little war dogs. Um, but yes, <laughs> that's what we will do in the next episode. Um, make sure to subscribe if you want uh, if you want to see that and. Uh, also, if you want to see more Planet Zoo content, because I am uploading tutorials as well and speed builds. Um, if you want me to see... Uh, if you want to see me, sorry, uh, doing the uh, franchise mode, uh, be sure to uh, follow me on Twitch, which I will put down in the links uh, in, the, in, the in the description below. And uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see in terms of tutorials or speed builds or... Um, whatever you would like me to do in Planet Zoo, and I will uh, see what I can do. Have a lovely, amazing day, all of you, and stay twinkly. Look at you go!